Mind the Implementation Gap. Whether you are a business or an ordinary person, you know that the rules of the game on paper are often different from reality. That's the implementation gap, the difference between the law in the books and the law in practice for any rules-based process. But if we can measure the implementation gap, we're one step closer to closing it. We can know what behaviors to change, how to tweak the practice, and where to target support, and what kind of training to provide, to whom, and where. We can more precisely target our efforts to close the gap. So, how do we measure the implementation gap? In the past, we tended to rely on anecdotal evidence from a handful of people who'd complain about a gap. A foreign expert would conclude that there is a gap and recommend the government to close it. Often, that was about it. Now, the World Bank uses a more precise methodology called process maps. These maps have proven useful in Serbia and are now being used in Bulgaria. And they're readily applicable elsewhere. How do process maps work? First, legal experts create a du jour map. They measure the number and type of procedural steps required by the law, including any time limits that apply to each step. The next task is to create a de facto map. This measures what happens in reality at each step. This is achieved by conducting a series of in-depth interviews with experienced lawyers and officials who specialize in that type of case or process, as well as citizens who had recent experience in navigating that process. Comparing these two maps reveals the implementation gap. This will show where and how the reality differs from the law, if extra steps are required in practice, where bottlenecks or delays occur along the way, where loopholes, or lack of regulation, exist, what kind of problems occur that impact effectiveness of the rule. You can also compare the reality in different geographical places. In Serbia, it took four months to develop a series of process maps in different parts of the country. We measured four rules-based processes. How to evict a tenant, how to enforce an unpaid bill, how to get a divorce, the prosecution of a domestic violence case. How can a process map help me? Any rules-based process can be mapped. Process maps are easy, inexpensive, enlightening. They reveal interesting findings that can help close the implementation gaps for any given process. And that matters to people and businesses, for governments, courts, and for partners, NGOs, and donors. If you're interested in learning how to map a process, let's talk.